Dear colleagues, we have discussion and approval of informational channel on the agenda. It is a very interesting issue to discuss. And my first question is, what was the reason for creation such channel? Thank you. Thank you that our channel is being discussed, because we find it very significant and very important. And of course we understand it is ethically correct to discuss the creation of such channel with the local ethic committee. Primarily, the reason is that oncology requires close and reliable contact between patient and doctor. Often we have a situation when we do not have enough time to explain patient a great amount of information patient needs to know. And this happened due to short time frames. We are time limited in communication with patient and thus we cannot explain everything we wanted to patient and his or her relatives. And because of that we began to make short videos connected to our daily activities in order to tell more information. For example, more information about informed consent form, about international clinical trials, about trials myths, about trial benefits, and so on and so forth. We also want to tell more information about oncology in general. Considering our specialty, we need to have confidence between patient and doctor and patient's relatives. We managed to make a great number of such videos and patients like to watch them here in hospital on a big screen in the hall. Patient asked us to make video broadcasting in each patient's room and in the whole department of chemotherapy in order to watch all these videos. When we heard such requests and we were assured that it is technically possible to do. After that, we decided to apply to local ethic committee to discuss the project local TV channel on the hospital and to discuss in general the activity of local TV channel. I hope this TV channel will be approved. Experience suggests we have a great number of important and interesting events. In particular, our hospital staff visited Japan Embassy recently concerning government grant for equipment received from Japan. And other important events take place in the hospital. We think this channel helps to enlighten in details patients and their relatives about every processes in the hospital. This will greatly improve our activities because it is very important not only to treat effectively patients but to communicate with them and to inform them our point of view. It is important to understand what they want to hear. We face the situation when patients ask us to provide more information about possible reactions, how to prevent them and what is reactions prophylaxis. We learn that if patients have expected reactions to chemotherapy and patients are aware about them, they accept these reactions easily. Patients shall know what to do in such situation, whom to call, where to go, and thus using contemporary methods of video making, we can better inform patients. It is real. We provide you today with the list of short videos which have been up uh, to this day. We have around 50 videos. They describe the main issues we want to explain to patients and to everyone who is interested in it. I would like you, if it is possible, to consider them and make a decision. I want also you to show the headline of the channel Site TV. It lasts 16 seconds, so please show it.
you watch informational channel Site TV. Keep on the newscast of the chemotherapy department in Dnipropetrovsk, Multifield Clinical Hospital No. 4. It was a 16 seconds headline. We tried to make short time videos in order to concentrate patients' attention on, because it, it is only possible using short time videos. Thus, we decided that five minutes videos work better. But we can also have long time videos if it is necessary, if it is needed, and uh, has interesting information. The development concept we see as follows. Firstly, to show everything happening in the hospital, and this is technically possible to do. We provide necessary equipment in patient's room, we provide equipment for making such videos. The other idea is that our patients requested whether we can make these videos accessible in the Internet, for example, on YouTube or some special Internet sites. It is also technically possible, patient or everyone who has the access to YouTube channel can watch any video of at his choice any video, any of 50 videos we have. Of course, we follow necessary requirements and regulations in such situations during making videos. Tell me, please. I know that there will be patients in your videos. In such case, how will their rights be protected? In such situation, video will be made only if patients uh, give consent for the video, which is obligatory to follow. Also, technically, we can shape patients' face if it is necessary. For example, if patient doesn't mind to make video, but doesn't want someone to see his or her face, it is possible we can shade the face. Thank you for this question. Indeed, we need to take a special consent for this process and follow the requirement of confidentiality and data protection. I have another question. I looked through the TV listing. Um, as I understand, your channel does not agitate for clinical trials, but provides explanatory videos of clinical processes. Am I right? Exactly. We think agitation in such process is the wrong way to go. Our deeds is the best agitation. If patients see how everything is organized in hospital, they can make their own motivated decision. We need to show patients what conditions we have, what technical processes are used, how hospital staff is trained. All this is shown in order patients make a decision. So, thank you for this question. Maybe someone else has questions? Professor Bandarenko, do other investigational centers in Ukraine have such channel? To tell the truth, we didn't find any prototype channel, not only in Ukraine, but also in the whole world. There are a lot of internet web pages created by departments or clinic or hospital, but they include text-based pages. The information is given as we get used to. Here we show the information in a very unusual way. Seeing is believing. Technologies are improving and video making process is not such difficult today. This process is comprehensible and easy to do. It is not like 15 years ago. The distinctive feature of our project is that we show live how processes are organized. Because we don't want patients only to read 
this information. We want to show this in information. It is also very popular in the world when people show all events happening around them, when comment on these events and these videos using possible internet resources like YouTube. Combining YouTube and common internet web page helps to find information easily and makes it more interesting because you, you can not only read the information, you can see this information. More than half of our patients came from other regions in Ukraine. And before patients decided to come from Kherson, Kyiv or Odessa or from cities 300 or 500 kilometers, it is ethically correct to show him or her the place of visit. That's why we talk not about agitation, but about information sharing. And this is the correct way to follow. Professor, uh, do you know the experience of similar channels to base on or maybe to learn from? Thank you. Uh, thank you for this question. I think that there might be some similar channels, but these prototypes do not show medicine activities and processes. We saw such channels in the United States, in Canada, but we do not learn them in depth. The main idea and the main concept of these prototypes is the same as ours to provide information on a timely basis, to make short videos and to give certain information and also to use up-to-date resources like YouTube or any other Internet resources. If we talk about some definite videos or, or about idea in general, we must know that we are not pioneers. We want to make issue-related resources aimed at patients, their relatives, oncological news, and all necessary and interesting information around us, and so on and so on. We think that our slogan should be Oncology, Future Benefits, Today. Because we try to use contemporary and innovative technology in hospital activities. Thus, such our initiative causes a fair number of questions, some prejudice, etc. And we think it is ethically correct to inform patients, to show is the best way to inform. Professor Bandarenko. As I understand, uh, this channel will show information about both chemotherapy department and hospital activities in general. Currently we have around 15 or even 20 videos about hospital news and activities. Recently our colleagues from other hospitals presented training about resuscitation support. We made a video of it. Our hospital has guests from abroad, like professor of Harvard University. We have videos in different languages, Ukrainian, Russian or English. It is not a problem at all. Um, we think if channel will be equal to our expectations, we can expand it even more than in frames of hospital. We are only making first steps in this process of this project. Future will show its sustainability. Internet resources provide us with popularity and attendance rating. If the number of visitors and subscribers increase, then this project is important and interesting. And we need to forward this channel. If not, we need to think how to improve it. Our team is highly enthusiastic, excited and committed to this project, to this very interesting project. Technically, we can do everything to make this project live.